In this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct one sample Z test and one sample T test in jump. Let's say I have this data where I want to compare the uh, processing time of passport applications. Now to conduct one sample Z test or one sample T test, we are going to compare our sample with some fixed mean. Let's say I want to compare it whether the applications get processed uh, within 40 days or not. So for that I will go to analyze, uh, click on distribution, click on your dependent variable which is time or variable of interest, click OK. Now here click on uh, this red triangle okay, and then click on test mean. In order to conduct the one sample z test we should we must know that what is the population or true standard deviation so let's see if i put 12.5 here and hypothesize mean is 40 and i click ok the software will conduct one sample z test for the particular set of data and you can choose the appropriate p value depending upon your test statistic in order to conduct the one sample t test i'm going to close this one again the same thing go to distribution choose the response variable and click on the red triangle which is next to the variable variable name okay test mean in case of one sample t test we do not know what is the true standard deviation or the population standard deviation so there just write the hypothesized mean click ok and at the bottom you will find appropriate uh, sorry, you will find the test statistics and p-values and choose the appropriate statistics as per your need. So that's how you conduct one sample z-test and one sample t-test in jump.